Good morning, and uh, I welcome you all to this online session of an interactive question answer session. Most of you, I hope, are enjoying these sessions, listening to the lectures. And I can see some of you online here, Rohit Desai, Navneet, Navneet has already joined us, Angel 22, uh, so Angel 22, the session has already started, good morning. Uh, now, uh, and then Gaurav Poswal, uh, good morning Gaurav, good morning Yogita. I welcome you all and uh, I also expect that since you have been listening to this course on soft skills, you might be having some queries. Of course, I'm not able to see you, but your questions can come to me. And uh, I hope I'll try my level best uh, that I'll be able to answer your questions. So uh, Debya has joined us. Good morning. Uh, then Yan Bero Eni. And then again, uh, Varun GS, good morning all of you. So, I, I think uh, you are enjoying the course. We have with us Sukumar Sahu also. Sukumar, good morning. Vijayasri, good morning. I mean, good morning to all of them who appear here uh, and might be having some questions. But I shall be delighted if your questions are specific. Uh, by specific, I mean related to the course. So, Joel Joes, good morning. Uh, and uh, may I now expect your questions? Uh, please ask your questions. I have with me uh, your TA, LV Aditya, uh, who has been doing a great service. Uh, though you might not have seen him, but everything that has been possible is possible uh, because of him. And of course, the NPTL team here who, has, who have been doing a very good job by uh, providing you all the slides, providing you the pieces of information, the lectures, and Aditya and uh, the other TA, uh, Devasis, uh, they have been uploading it. I mean, uploading the lectures and also uploading assignments which you have been doing. Uh, so we have uh, with us Rituparna Maji, good morning. Uh, Meghna, Angita, Saleha Banu, Shankar Srigan, Saras, and then again, uh, fine. And again, we have. Uh, Subhash Chandra, good morning. Uh, so, uh, now, uh, can you please uh, start asking the questions? Uh, Sangappa, good, good morning. Good morning, Sangappa. Venu, good morning. I hope all of you are fine and you are enjoying the lectures uh, because the lectures have been oriented in a manner uh, that you feel as if through the lectures also I'm talking to you and here I am, my dear friends. Uh, Giridhar Kumar. Hello, hi, uh, Vagishri, uh, good morning. And then we have Pravjit. Uh, so Pravjit here has come with a question. And the question is how soft skills can help in enhancing the skill set of students. Of course, that's really a relevant question. Uh, my dear friends, as you all have learned that soft skills cannot be confined only to one word or two words. They are actually a variety of skills which are coupled and which are combined in soft skills. Oh, somebody writes here, Shreya Sule, uh, you are not audible to us. Increase your volume. Uh, uh, I hope I am audible now. Am I audible? Am I audible? Please, uh, please ensure that I am audible. 
Uh, I, I think there is no problem from here. Maybe there's a problem on your side. Uh, can you check it? Am I, am I audible? Navaneet, am I audible? Uh, so Navaneet says, and Sankar says, yes, sir. So I'm audible. I think uh, there may be some problem with some of you. Uh, please find it at your end. And I think uh, that will be detected and you will be able to uh, hear me. So I was uh, uh, responding to your question on how students can learn uh, soft skills. You see, my dear friends, soft skills, as we have been telling, uh, that this is actually a set of skills. It is not only uh, the communication skills, but it is the behavioral skills, uh, then it is uh, the writing skills, uh, then the leadership skills, uh, then in writing skills also, there are so many things, listening skills, then reading skills, uh, then accommodating yourself in the team, Accommodating, uh, accommodating yourself uh, in order that you can respond to several situations, several challenges uh, that can come. Uh, so uh, there is another question that has uh, popped up now. Are there any novel that helps us to increase soft skills? Uh, actually, Naveen, um, novels cannot increase your soft skills. Of course, when you read uh, novels, I mean, for that matter, no specific novel, but any novel that you read, that can actually help you or that can enhance your linguistic ability. I mean, the way you can express. Because the novels uh, talk about different characters. They depict the story. And when there is an interaction uh, among characters, you can find out that on different situations, uh, they use different sentences. Uh, they also use uh, uh, different words. So in a way, that can help you understand and enhance your linguistic ability. I mean, this ability of enhancing your language, uh, your uh, written uh, structure, pattern, correctness, and all that. Uh, so uh, we, we cannot name any uh, specific novel. Uh, but then uh, whatever novel interests you, you can read that. For that matter, not only novels, anything that comes your way in terms of reading that is actually uh, going to help you uh, in the days to come in enhancing your skills. Uh, now we have another question from Manpreet Kaur. Well, Manpreet, your question is, what is the exact definition of soft skills? Uh, I hope, uh, Manjit, uh, that uh, you had uh, listened to the lectures, uh, which were uh, the initial lectures, initial lectures of soft skills. I mean, uh, lecture one, lecture two and all. Soft skills actually are umbrella terms. They comprise many skills. So there cannot be any exact definition. But if I have to tell it in one word, they are more often the behavioral skills. They are the behavioral skills, how you behave uh, in different situations. Because they are, you have got the hard skills within you. The hard skills are just like the hardware. And soft skills actually help you to realize and to expand and to express and to disseminate uh, in various ways than one. So that is how soft skills can help you. Now we have another question uh, from Pravujit. Does reading help in improving soft skills more than listening? I mean, uh, there cannot be a clear cut answer uh, that whether reading alone is important or listening. You see, all those people who have been listening, because you know, listening is very important. You read, of course, you read at your own ease. But when you listen to a speaker, uh, you are going to learn a lot. You are going to be exposed to uh, the expressions. You are going to be exposed to the nuances of using words uh, in the best possible manner. Uh, so, of course, listening helps. Uh, but then reading also helps. Suppose you have read something, you have read the lectures, uh, that I have delivered. And then all those lectures, when you have been listening, listening does more. No, you read and you forget. But when you listen, listening is actually a sort of device that complements whatever you have uh, read, whatever you have heard. Uh, then we have another question from Barun. What is the best approach in your view to develop soft skills? Do you believe in uh, diving and learning prehand before venturing out? Of course, you know. A man who does not know uh, anything about soft skills and does not know even the importance of soft skills cannot start. Once you realize the importance of soft skills, 
because in life you may come across different situations there may be different contexts and how you are going to situate or adjust yourself to the different contexts that is of paramount importance so dear friends uh, i believe i believe that you should not dive in just all of a sudden uh, but then you should also have some amount of learning and you know it is not one day affair it continues it is a continuing education sort of thing now we have another question uh, from baisali bahal importance of people skills in profession of teaching engineering college of course you see soft skills are people's skills hard skills are what you have learned but soft skills are when you deal with people suppose you are a teacher and you have to uh, deal with the students the students have different problems they have uh, at times uh, the problems of understanding the problems of getting convinced so this helps you your soft skills helps you first to determine the problem understand the problem and then come out with possible solutions so it can of course help you my dear friends uh, and then uh, we have dibya what books or reference articles should we refer for the exam uh, there are certain books uh, that are also uh, are referred to in the course itself uh, but of course uh, you can learn all uh, the uh, lectures that have been delivered uh, i do understand that uh, the uh, text of the lectures have also been made available so please go through them and i i understand that if you go through them uh, seriously uh, there is no way that you will skip there is no way that you will uh, fail to understand because the lectures have been developed in a manner that everyone can understand uh we have another uh, question from uh, navin how to communicate in interview uh, in an interview sir when we have a fear of being wrong while answering okay uh then we have a question from bidya if a person with a minimal hard skill but an extraordinary soft skill have a good stand in the public o okay this is temporary uh, you can cheat people uh, with uh, the sort of speaking ability for some time but not always unless and until a person has got uh, the requisite information he cannot continue for long same is true of uh, teachers if the teachers do not have much material uh, and uh, when they go to the classroom what will happen after some amount of time uh, the material will be exhausted and you cannot you you cannot all the time simply win because you have a good speaking ability I information is required and with information and then if the information is mixed with the speaking ability that will work wonders my dear friend uh we have jagmeet singh how can we speak more fluently without fumbling uh this uh, you have to practice and there are several ways nowadays uh, you have uh, uh, several exposures i mean media we have uh, tv channels uh, we have several online uh, sites but the best way i mean as a beginner uh, you have to begin with a small group of people with whom you can talk and especially are uh, you try to learn from others how they are using a particular uh, strategy how they are developing uh, a particular pattern how they are using a particular word now we have some new people also coming in and between uh, for example we have uh, uh, prashad uh, johan uh, yeah, yes good morning uh, uh, prashad and then we have kritika what to do when we forget question asked while answering uh, i think it is during interview so when you forget the answer uh, you and if you if you know it you will not forget fine because uh, you forget things which you remember too much which you have actually uh, worked hard uh, just like a parrot so please don't remember please try to understand understanding is the best way so when you forget something uh, you will try to answer but uh, after some time it will uh, and naturally come back to you we have kritika uh, and then we have dibya we have a lot of frankness and confidence while communicating with friends but while presenting ideas in front of a meeting is a common problem among students how to overcome it uh, to give them more and more exposure uh, what happens is when you talk to your friends it is actually in an informal atmosphere talking in a formal atmosphere requires some amount of patience i mean listening uh then knowing what uh, the other people want and then when it is in a it is a meeting or say a group discussion uh then uh, all you need to do is you need to listen what other people are saying and you need to respond only when uh they ask the relevant question it is not that every now and then you can make your presence uh simply 
by participating. There are situations when by listening to somebody, uh, you will also find that you know it and you have a suggestion. So please see to it that you can do that. Uh, Monica Sharma, we have how to help a student with very bad, very low understanding, especially if the student is above graduate level. You see, uh, the problem with communication is that everything cannot be communicated and all the uh, formula, they cannot fit in uh, for everyone. So what you need to do is you actually for such people who have got a very low confidence level, low understanding, they can be provided some extra hour. And if they have the curiosity, they will, of course, come to you sometime when you are free, when you are at leisure. Uh, so uh, during that time, you have to counsel a little bit also because the students may be uh, low at times uh, because of several regions. The entire uh, answer lies in the fact how much you have understood the problem. If you have understood the problem, you have the solution. What is the secret of excellent oratory skills? Uh, I mean experience, speaking more and more, uh, trying uh, to speak, especially in the beginning, in front of your friends. Uh, and then uh, you try to participate more and more. For example, uh, in this course itself, uh, you have found uh, that there are certain sessions, of, say, for example, group discussion, oral presentations and all. So through that, you also can organize a small group conversations, a small group meetings, small talks, giving talks in a small uh, groups. And then you can find actually why people are not able to speak excellently or fluently is because they are not confident. We have uh, Paprinda Singh. Hello, sir. How much minimum time required to master soft skills? Uh, soft skills as they are people skills, uh, you can learn throughout entire life. Even today, we are learning it. When we come across some very experienced people, some very excellent people uh, who have uh, uh, got better skills than us. No, we should. You have to remain a learner throughout your life. There is no, role, there is no end to uh, learning. Learning is always alive and you need to find out how you can learn from whom, which people. Soft skills are usually used in corporate sector. So can you give some tips about it? Of course. Soft skills are uh, usually used in corporate sector. And why only corporate sector? Nowadays, even in life, it is very important uh, to maintain a particular uh, sort of soft skills. You see, in corporate also, there are people. And how you are dealing with situation. Maybe, say, for example, uh, sometimes you do not uh, understand what to do in a particular situation. So have patience. Think. What can be the best way? You are already alive. You have a lot of information. Uh, so my dear friends, in corporate sector, uh, what is of utmost importance is your behavior. For example, you might find that certain tasks you cannot do. Uh, but then you cannot say a straight no. Uh, you can always say, I will try my level best. And I think if you try, uh, you will be able to do. Uh, Vishal Behal, do we always need to say yes to our higher authority in our job? how to tackle the situation at that time. You see, you have to build a sort of rapport or a credibility with your boss, with the authority, and through your performance that you are going to reflect. There are certain situations where you find that you are not able to uh, say yes. I mean, you have a difference of opinion or you hold a different opinion that, that can also be said, but in a very politeness manner. Politeness is the hallmark. You whether it is yes or no, you have to have a sort of convincing reason. It is what is of utmost importance is how you are able to convince the person. That is very important. Now we have Gagandeep Singh. Does taking IELTS or GRE exam play any role in enhancing soft skills? Uh, I think that is a different sort of examination. That is completely an English examination for that uh, you, you cannot enhance your soft skills. Of course, you can have uh, some more exposure to language, especially to English language. Sridhar said some, some more important tips for soft skills. Uh, of course, you know, uh, the, the uh, end is uh, not very near. You know, it is a continuous process. Say, for example, you want to say no. How to say no? Say that you are not uh, in, uh, say, 
agreement with some people. So how to say that? That actually requires a sort of uh, nuance. I mean, you can always say, of course, uh, your uh, ideas seem so nice, uh, but we have also to check uh, its uh, utility level, how they are to be utilized. So if you say like that, you are able to say, you are able to say that uh, you do not go with that idea, but at the same time, you have not said, said it impolitely. Politeness has, has to be maintained. Cordiality has to be maintained. And this corporate world depends on two things which are very important. Cordiality, cooperation, these are very important. And of course, communication. A man who is an effective communicator can handle situations very well. Then a man who has all the abilities but is not able to convince because today you are not uh, going to talk or to deal with machines. You are going to deal with people. Hence, that is very important. We have another question uh, pouring in here uh, from Anuranjan Sarda. Engineering students are more specific and finish the conversation quickly without allowing while communicating how to improve this. Uh, you have to make them realize, my dear friend. You have to make them realize. Engineering students uh, overall have been seen that they are very specific, of course, and they are not able to converse for a long time. But once you have been able to make them realize the importance of communication, I think they will be able to give them small tasks. Actually, you have to make them think because they have uh, uh, very original ideas and how they continue with the ideas that is very important. So please see that uh, that is done. How to convince the people who do not have the knowledge about soft skills. You can give so many examples. Uh, people who do not have the soft skills. Say if I take an example from the business world. If all of us go uh, for shopping every now and then. You will find that there are some guys. There are some salesmen who engage you in a conversation. And then he actually starts showing you so many things. And then he also tries to convince you how it can be of use to uh, you. So after some amount of time, you feel uh, that uh, you actually are in a mood to buy that. This is this has been possible uh, because of its soft skills, because he has created in you a desire to buy a particular thing. So we have Sweta. Good morning, Sweta. Uh, again, we have questions from Naveen, Monica. How to stay confident in interview while answering to an interviewer? Okay. First is that when you go for the interview, before the interview, you have to say yourself that you are confident. And how to be confident? If you are prepared, you are confident. Of course, there are certain questions whose answers you might not know, but there is no way to lose your heart, to lose your confidence. If you do not know the answer to a particular question, you can say no. There is no hard and fast rule that you will be knowing everything. You know, even the interviewers also know. Uh, that nobody can have the answers to everything. Maybe one or two questions you do not know, but then you are also, there are other questions also which you are in a position to answer. So don't lose heart. What is the more importance? Listening, reading, writing or speaking. I mean, all these are important and we, we cannot say that only one thing is important and it varies from person to person, situation to situation, context to context. There are some situations where you have to speak. Speaking is important. For example, uh, giving a talk. Speaking is more important. But in the background of the speaking lies reading. In the background of the speaking lies writing. So that's very important. We cannot say that only one skill is important. What makes us more convincing? English jargon or style of delivery? Why do we say jargon? I mean, language. Let us say language and style of delivery. You'll find that a man, I mean, all the successful people that way. Uh, they, their styles of delivery, the way they speak and the way they have a command over language that actually makes them convince. And what is convincing is reason also. Maybe you have several regions, but your English is not uh, correct. Your, your, your language is not uh, having a lot of region, not having logic. How will you be able to tackle them? So we have uh, Baisali Bahal, Baisali Bahal, how to stay positive if one is facing negative situations in working environment. Yes, nowadays we are living in tough times. We are having hard times and situations can change. You know, today morning it was misty. It was a misty morning, cloudy morning when I started. But when I started and when I reached my department, I could see the bright sun signing. 
So situations change very fast. But when you are uh, in the midst of a negative situation, tell yourself that these situations are to be handled. Life is not only about positives, my dear friends. Life is also about negatives. When there is a negative situation going on, please do not lose your calm. Do not lose your confidence. Do not lose your patience. Do not lose uh, your composure. And that will help you. If you try to be good to the world, the world will be good to you. Of course, there are some negative forces, but we have to try to subside those negative forces by our positivism, by our op optimism. Now we have another question by Barun. Is storytelling the best way in the path to convince? There are several ways to convince. Why only storytelling? Storytelling is one way. And as, as a speaker, you can decide which is the best way uh, to engage a person, which is the best way to start the conversation, which is the best way to convince. Where story is needed, story is needed just to create the background. Uh, but then there are other ways also. We have Hitesh Behra coming for the first time here. Sometimes people fail in life situations. They take wrong decisions like suicide, how to overcome this situation. This is completely a psychological question. Uh, but then uh, I, I will say that those who really feel that they are not able to continue uh, and, and they take extreme steps, they should also believe that the world does not end here. One room, one door may close, another will open, my dear friends. So why to take a wrong decision? Stay positive. Skill of negotiation, of course. Uh, if you have listened to the lecture on negotiation, you will find there are several ways that have already been discussed. But remember, the best negotiation is a negotiation which has ended in a win-win situation. Win not only for you, but win for the other party. There is a common line of compromise. You must always not say uh, that you are on the sunny side. I mean, unless and until we think about the interest of the other party, we are not a good negotiator. So that has also to be seen. Sometimes you may have to make some small sacrifices, but by making a small sacrifices, you can also go for Bigger gains, greater gains. Now, uh, there is another question uh, by, uh, by Shali Bahal. How is your book on soft skills for engineers different from your uh, other books on soft skills? Uh, presently, I do not have any, uh, uh, any other book on soft skills. I have one book on communication skills. So if you are able to read that, I think you will find it has, in a way, touched all the areas of soft skills but then one book is not sufficient for that maybe i'll have to write some other book which i'm trying nowadays we have uh, in our midst meghna does soft skill really matter uh, in this fast moving world of course it matters why why doesn't it matter it matters every now and then the world is changing fast but you have several skills and you can with the help of your skills you can always find better ways as I said, every now and then the situations are not the same. So you will find that all these situations in some way or the other have some, have some solutions. If there are problems, there are solutions. Are you able to find out the solution? And that is possible by uh, having a look at soft skills. Yes, I'm expecting some more questions, my dear friends. Uh, what are the soft skills that students must have uh, that most of the companies are looking for. Uh, there is uh, one line which a recruiter had said uh, that I would love to uh, hire a girl with a pleasant smile and better communication skills than one having a very good CGPA and not able to speak. So that is, that is one of the ways uh, most of the job seekers should look at. You know, you have the caliber within. But this caliber is to be expressed. This caliber is to be shown, to be displayed. And now there is another question. Why soft skills came to be named as soft skills only? Right. <laughs> That's a good question. Then uh, we have uh, another question. How to enhance? Oh, we have already answered that. Soft skills are, because you know, when we talk about hard skills, it talks about one particular thing. 
but in soft skills you you are not confined as i have been saying time and again to one set of skills it is actually a set of skills language uh, behavior uh, the way you walk the way you talk the way you hear the way you convince the way you argue the way you organize the way you lead uh, the way you make other people's accommodate in a group all these actually uh, come under one umbrella which we call soft skills we have ranadeep keer how to overcome fear of speaking in english in front of large crowd okay uh, and then we have sunidhi uh, sunidhi also has a question why soft skill okay i have already answered that so we come to ratnadeep keer yes fear of speaking in public is very natural you will find that even experienced speakers you know who are experienced nowadays even if they are given a chance to speak initially they will have little bit of nervousness anxiety and you know especially the beginners like you people who have not have several interactions or uh, several situations when you have to speak you may have that feeling more and this fear is because of the anxiety of performance everyone wants to succeed everyone actually wants to outshine others everyone wants to uh, hear that he or she did well and how to do that so when you start doing that you have an anxiety and that anxiety is written on your face so you feel a sort of fear but then if you start working on that fear i mean i say fight the fear you have to fight the fear and how can you fight the fear there are several ways the first way is to prepare too much prepare always have too much of material and then when the real situation comes and when you appear before the strange crowd the large crowd then there are certain ways if you have uh, listened to the lecture on nervousness i think you will get enough thoughts on that because you know i cannot here answer all the questions uh in a by giving one lecture on everything that is why we had a course like soft skills uh then uh do for you production what do you do when we are forced to attend a session by authorities especially when we are not interested okay uh we are living in a world uh where we have certain responsibilities and you know keeping yourself in the position of your authorities you will also expect the same what they expect of you so my dear friend when uh, i will not say use the word forced i'll i'll actually use the word uh, that it is a sort of mandatory requirement you see if a speaker does not have listeners what will the speaker feel put yourself in the position of a speaker and that is why we need to go and listen we need need to go and attend a session and you know no session is worthless every session has something meaningful you try to find out you know and and even if you are not interested in the talk i think there are other things also that you can learn can you not learn the way the person has dressed can you not learn from the way the person starts can you not learn from the person gi giving examples can you not learn from the way the person uh, makes uses of silence pauses and then can you not learn when the person is put a question and answers so you see if you believe yourself to be a learner i think the world will appear to be very pleasant it is only those people uh, who do not want to listen or who do not want to attend uh, for some reason or the other i mean reasons may be there but we cannot say uh, that we should not go we of course should maintain and that is how because you are you are just every now and then there is the third eye always after you how you respond to how you uh, discharge your responsibilities in an organization that is very important we have gagandeep kaur how to make a career as a soft skills trainer oh great that's a very beautiful question if you feel you have with you or you have within you uh, the way to convince the world because you know unless and until you are able to convince the outside world you cannot become a trainer what is what is the responsibility of a trainer the trainer actually looks at the requirement and then he uh, develops the module then he develops the uh, sessions so if you feel if you feel that you want to be a soft skills trainer fine 
and and nowadays in a world of today it is actually uh, a very paying practice if you want to end up yourself as a soft skills trainer you will never have any leave you will you will never feel uh, that you are without job but then you need to have a very good convincing ability you need to have a very good speaking ability and you need to understand the needs of people we have vidya vespera and vidya has a question how are soft skills the regions for successful joint business negotiation yes you will find that when a, an organization goes for negotiations uh, the organization chooses uh, the person who is best suited for it and it is one of the best negotiators who can manage the so for the organization so soft skills are of course the reason but apart from soft skills one also should have the hard skills i mean the information he should be armed with information otherwise he will not be able to convince he will not be able to win again monica has come with a question where is soft skills trainers themselves are not good in speaking english then what to do then uh, one way to do is to become a better speaker one way to do is to become a better trainer meaning thereby there is an opportunity there is need create that opportunity into a need you will find uh, that uh, if if they are soft skills trainers and they are not good at speaking and they are not good at all these skills i think they cannot continue for a long time so here is a chance for you uh, we have uh, p patil uh, and the question is even uh, we what is what is this question even we knowledge we fail to uh, i mean uh, p patil can you write it again i mean your question itself is not understood by me how to overcome this problem even we knowledge we fail to express okay okay uh, you mean to say that you have uh, the knowledge uh, but you are not uh, able to express you see you have to express knowledge has to be expressed i mean you are not uh, putting uh, you are not putting efforts in that direction if you put efforts in that direction you see there is never uh late in life one can begin any moment one can begin any moment so please begin from now even and you can find i i hope uh, uh, you have seen me speaking if you feel that i am a good speaker if you feel that i am a good trainer if you feel that i am able to ex express i think everyone can express i have not learned it in just one day so what is your impression i don't know but i think if you feel uh, that uh people cannot express no you are in the wrong box everyone can express you need to begin somewhere uh, from some from some place from some point uh, monica sharma uh, various soft skills trainer okay fine uh, yes i am waiting for the next question i mean i am here uh, to answer your questions and please ask me questions related to your academics and i'll be able to answer them uh but once again i request you all please go through the lectures listen to the lectures and when you listen to the lectures you will have a lot of ideas uh so we have a question from joel jose sir in your opinion can the soft skills of an individual improve by listening to some online classes yes of course by listening to online classes you can get a lot of ideas you can get lots of motivations but how you put that into practice that is your choice uh, but i think of course by listening to listening has an advantage it actually enables a sort of thinking process within you and if you try to listen and if you really try to uh, go by that then i think that gives you a lot of benefits lots of advantages are there which soft skills certification can one acquire to become a soft skills trainer i mean uh, this is a difficult question uh, i think uh, uh, various organizations may have uh, a different sort of requisites so you can find it out from them uh, but then uh, this course also provides you a certificate uh, but do you think that it is the certificate that alone can uh, tell or that alone can ensure that you have become a soft skills trainer no my dear friend i do not go by that for example somebody passes an examination that is that is no guarantee uh, that he has just after passing the examination become a celebrated speaker or all i mean when you pass an examination you actually learn some information knowledge but when you put that into practice in your life that actually goes a long way 
so every other day you are enhancing your school uh, skills uh, barin barun uh, js has a question how to understand and respond to different accents of same language during our conversation okay fine english has different accents in different demography yes my dear friends uh, because the world is divided into several zones several cultures several countries you will find that the accents of different people are different but there is a standard also i mean you will find as an indian you will not have the same accent patterns uh, like that of a british or an american but then if you can listen to them patiently it is not that you will not be able to understand you will be able to understand of course in order to understand the standard pronunciation you must go through a good dictionary a good thesaurus nowadays uh, there are several websites also available you can always access and learn unless and until you know the sounds clearly you cannot understand the different pronunciations of course it is actually the variety of this pronunciation variety of these accent that actually helps that makes the world beautiful for example an indian speaks very beautifully but then when an american speaks uh, there are different sorts of accents but that does not mean we cannot understand monica sharma how does the certificate acquired by your course will help in fetching a job in the market maybe it may not help you fetch a job in the market but of course it is an advantage when you compare yourself with other people uh, and nowadays i i am of the opinion uh, that this certification course will also have some added advantage when you go for a job or moreover even if it is not of advantage it is an advantage to your learning it is an advantage to your skills we, you see we require jobs no doubt but also we require satisfaction performance whatever your jobs we are in but unless and until we are able to perform better uh, unless and until we are able to do our tasks in a very satisfactory manner some way or the other we feel some way or the other we feel lacking in certain things so this course can help you this is actually a course just to generate a curiosity among people this is a course which is actually to ignite people about things which are of relevance today ratandeep kaur comes with another question what are the most asked questions about soft skills in the workplace or interview do you think that they ask particular questions about soft skills they are actually going to judge your soft skills the way you respond the way you answer to the questions the way you sit during the interview the way you express your knowledge so all these things are judged and they are judged more when you are in our workplace you are in jobs that are more relevant in jobs when you are given a particular task and how you do that that is of utmost importance tunidi juare has come up with a question how can we make a person with low self esteem develop through soft skills by counseling them a person may have low self esteem only because he does not know uh, what are the merits in him there is no person who does not have any merit all of us have some merits some demerits but at the same time there is there should be a time to make a sort of introspection there should be an opportunity to understand and to explore within you go for several interviews it is not that you always succeed in some interviews uh, you always fail no so when you fail in an interview and when you come back please review the questions yourself please review what things were asked what answers you gave and then you will find you yourself will find that had this question been answered in a different manner perhaps i could have been better so self esteem cannot come just in one day one may have self esteem but then the self esteem is 
when you have prepared when you have prepared to make others satisfy and you know everyone should have the self esteem self esteem may come from the confidence if i do not get this job there are other jobs also waiting for that maybe i was not suitable for that maybe others were more suitable than me and that is why they got this job so please be optimistic there's a lecture on positive thinking have you gone through so i i would i'd expect all of you to go through uh, the lecture on positive thinking and that will enable you uh, to understand what so what self esteem is what confidence is what commitment is uh, we have another question uh, from uh, sunidhi how can we make a, uh, yes vidya vidya how to convince the crowd when we address them which soft skills would help in this how to convince the crowd when we address them so when you are going to convince the crowd your reasoning ability your speaking with some amount of reasoning will help the crowd for example i want to sell something unless and until i have been able to create in my customers the need to understand the need to have it i am not a good seller i am not a person who can convince so you have to convince them and in order to convince them you have to tell them wh why it is important how it is important for you and what are the advantages and why should you have it so if you look at any sales letter or any uh, promotional uh, adventure for any new product you will find how convincing and how reasoning at the same time they are uh, suggest tips for group discussion okay a uh, group discussion is actually a discussion among people who may be from different backgrounds and there are several ways sometimes you may be given a topic in most of the jobs nowadays they give you a topic and on that topic you have to speak now how to be successful in a group discussion first listen to the topic and you will find half of the answers lie in the topic itself and when the discussion starts you have two responsibilities to follow one responsibility is the group responsibility and before group responsibility comes the individual responsibility as an individual your part is to have ideas and to articulate and to convince people with your points and then you find when the others are doing that others are expressing their points you need to listen listening is very important there are times when people uh, there are some people who are not able to speak much uh they actually are treated as silent people but they these people also are to be encouraged they are also to be motivated to speak and with this in mind and when the group discussion continues you will find you do not have the time to sit idle there are people with so many pieces of information and somebody said something wrong so the other person comes in and interrupts and then tries to correct him so this is the beauty of the group discussion and in group discussion i always say groups swim and sink together so if the entire all the members of the group they believe that they are here for a cooperation because group discussion is a cooperative affair it is not competitive it is not that who should outsign home but then it is a way to generate thoughts it is a way to come out with something new it is a way to convince or it is way uh, it is one way uh, to convince but with some difference so if you keep those things in mind i think you will succeed better and even in group discussion also your ability to speak matters your ability to listen matters and then the behavioral part is very important how you behave you may not like a person but at the same time you cannot just ridicule him if he doesn't speak you cannot just insult him if he remains silent because in groups you will find that even though there is not an appointed leader a leader will emerge my dear friend so and and such a leader is a constructive one he will have the constructive suggestions now there is another question that comes sir suggest tips for group uh, yes is the exam paper objective type or some questions would be subjective also i mean it should be a mix of the two uh during the examination the question paper should be a mix of the two uh but uh, my suggestion to you all is please go through the lectures very seriously don't take any lecture non seriously and if you have listened to the lectures i think 
how interesting they have been uh, oriented and how they best respond to your queries. What is the best way to make decisions when working on a group project? Okay. So this is uh, Abdut Abhyankar. Now taking decisions. Who will take decision? If the group has to take decision, the group will take the views of everyone. And the group will also see uh, both the ways. How is this going to help? How is this decision going to help? How is this go decision going to harm? How is this going to be economically viable?